And, it, and that's why he plays so the cool. way he does. Because his, his heart comes through his playing, you know. Wow. And uh, so we hung out. And uh, it, was a, it was a great time. And then three people in the room. Now the fourth person. Now we get someone else walks through the door. It's Les Paul. Hi, I'm Jay Roberts. And I'm Brandon Bellini. And welcome to RMI Jam Tracks Connected, a video series where we showcase our latest backing tracks. Come hang with us while we jam, tell stories, and talk music. And make sure you subscribe down below so you get the videos as they come out. What's up, everybody? This is uh, Brandon here, Jay Roberts. Cheerios. Coming at you live from the, uh, the Rubber Room, the RMI Studio. And uh, we're really excited to show you our newest backing track. This is the B.B. Uh, King style minor blues backing track. And uh, we've been having a lot of fun jamming over it. So It's an awesome track, man. Yeah, it's really, really fun. It's an awesome track. And, it, and it, it's a great introduction to... Um, actually, it's a great introduction to like playing a, a minor pentatonic. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Kind of a, a, a minor blues in a way, really. Yeah. It's B minor, right? Yeah, so. Absolutely. So we'll uh, we'll talk about some ideas of uh, you know starting off with some more basic concepts of soloing over, yeah. it, and then we'll kind of advance to uh, you know intermediate and yeah. more advanced concepts, and that's uh, kind of our our thought is that we have fun jamming, talking to each other, and seeing what comes up. Yeah. And share it with you. So That's right. Really we had so much fun doing this on our own, and uh, we just we just we just wanted to broadcast it to the world. So, so we're Hell just yeah. gonna have some fun and jam. That's should uh, we kick it off? I think I would if it was. Wait, what's that? Oh dear, that Whoa. sounded ominous. That sounds funky. <laughs> Did you forget to tune this? <laughs> I think it's good, man. <laughs> I thought you said we were all. No? Oh my goodness. What is going on here? It's got to be copyrighted. <laughs> wow, right. man, I like that. I don't know. I just learned that's, that. That's, <laughs> I wonder where that's from. I never I, heard we're, it. We'll, we'll find out. Let's, <laughs> let's kick it off. This is, uh, this is the BB King Minor Blues backing track. Uh, no thrills. Awesome. All you, Jay. Really? Yeah, man, you got to kick this one off right. So you took basically some pentatonic ideas, yeah. basically like a, a B minor pentatonic thought, right? And then you went, and then you put the blues oh, note yeah, in yeah, there, yeah, yeah. and you kept really close to that, yeah. And really played some great ideas with nice phrasing. Thanks, man. Yeah, I like that. I like the blue note there. Doesn't sound good to stay on it though. I like it, unless you go like this. Ooh, I like that. Oh. Dirty. Yeah, so it got a little nasty, so I really, I was targeting that flat five, really. Yeah. That's cool. Something like in, in, in rock, in metal music, they do that a lot, too. But it's actually a great note. It sounds so bad out of context, right? But then you put it in context. Nice. Nice. Like a, like a, yeah, 
very nice. Yeah. Now you just floated into like the, like a more intermediate kind of idea. So uh, you took your basic blues concept, right? Yeah. And then you went and did some chromatics. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of takes it to the next level in a way because. Um, it loses its traditional blues flavors like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These things that are like, yeah. And even like this. Yeah, so who did this anyway? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? Is that is that is that Mr. Uh, oh man, I know. Oh yeah, Mr. Jimi Hendrix. I'm I'm assuming. Am I am I right about that? I hope I'm not wrong. I'm a horrible. Uh, what do they call that? Uh, uh, impressionist or <laughs> <laughs> the guitar impressionist? Yeah. So this is actually that was my impression of BB King. BB King does, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he could like play one note, and just make it ring, and it was all his vibrato. You're you know? right. You're it's right. more than just his vibrato, but you know, apparently that wasn't enough to give the clue away. But <laughs> sorry, you know, I, I tried. So, so he's like a real traditional and super um, tasty blues player. Yeah. That plays extremely simple mm. ideas yeah. that are really built out of a pentatonic scale. Yeah. And uh, it, it just it, it shows to Goya, as we say in the industry, that uh, in fact the vibrato, yeah, the bending, and his use of legato and staccato actually are the things that make his style, not so much the note. Mm. Yeah, that's a good and point. And it's very fascinating because it's uh, not just him. It's if any guitar player, uh, if you really listen to him. The thing that makes them very um, identifiable is more than the playing the ninth against the chord, or you know what <laughs> yeah, I mean. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Because everyone does that, or you know, tar landing on the third of the chord in his solo. It's it's more than that. It's uh, it's the, his dynamics and his it's his articulation. So articulation is a huge part for easing. Yeah, and it's phrasing. I mean, yeah. it's all these other things other than the scale and the arpeggio and the key, you know, all that stuff that we talk about all the time yeah. and we're always learning about. But when you really get down to it, it's like, uh, is the note short? Yeah. And then long? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. okay. Staccato. Two staccato not notes and then... And then a legato one that rings, that holds out, yeah. sings. So these are the things that it is very vocal, like, isn't it? It's like a, yes. it's like a singing through the instrument kind of thing. Much more like singing, yeah, in in, in, uh, uh, in talking, yeah, it's like expressive. It's much more expressive. So while we we learn our scales and we practice our technique and getting things clean and fast or whatever it is we like to practice, yeah. Um, when you're talking about BB King. We're talking about one note. <laughs> yeah. Kill it. Yeah, no doubt. Kill it with one note. And that's a big lesson. You know, it's, it's humbling as heck because you're so good at it. So, Wow, um, yeah. Gosh, that reminds me of a story, actually, <laughs> now that I think of it. Um, so he, he was uh, endorsed with Gibson as well as my dad was. Oh, oh yeah. And uh, Right, he had the Lucille guitar. He had the Lucille. And, yeah. Uh, and so Gibson had a, uh, and still has a whole fleet of endorsed guitar players. Mm. But back then in the day, it was uh, some guys that were really kind of legendary, like Les Paul and and guys like that, that really uh, pushed their market. Yeah. Big time. And so anyway, we're 
I'm at hanging with my dad at a NAM show, uh, probably in the like around eighty five, eighty six, somewhere in there. Yeah. Um, and we're in a Gibson suite upstairs in uh, the the Hilton, right next to the NAM convention. Gibson had a, had a suite there, and it's all set up uh, with you know you you go in there and everything. There's instruments you can play. There's you know. Typically, a lot of people hanging out. It's a party. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. Well, this, you know, HR goes, hey, let's go check out the Gibson suite. So we go up to that room. No one in there. <laughs> just him and just I. Just empty. Just empty. But all laid out. You just got the food over here and the beers over here and the whatever instruments are over here and so forth. And, and it was odd. We're like, wow, this is kind of odd. No one's here. Then uh, comes walking through the door. B.B. King. <laughs> That's awesome. And I'm like, whoa. This is like, I'm <laughs> I'm about uh, 20 years old or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I'm like, whoa, man, that guy's the, the cat. That's the B.B. King, right? B.B. So King. He walks in, walks straight over to me, and gives me a big bear hug. Just this big hug. Oh, that's awesome, and man. I'm like, my jaw's like, uh wow he goes yeah man he goes your dad he's the this is the this is the guy right here and he was just he loved me because he loved my dad wow. <laughs> right? and he's just a genuine person wow just a truly genuine heart you know heartfelt cat man and uh, i learned it right there right on the spot and that's why he plays that's so cool. the way he does because his his heart comes through his playing you know wow and uh so we hung out, and uh, it was a, it was a great time. And then three people in the room. Now the fourth person. Now we get someone else walks through the door. It's Les Paul. And <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you got Les Paul, BB King, and Howard Roberts yes, all in the same room. And I'm just like, and Jay Whoa, Roberts, a young Jay Roberts. This is crazy. Holy cow! It was so cool. And, and Les comes right in and goes, "That's crazy." It's the first time I'm meeting him and everything, and and he goes, "Hey man, you know what we we call your dad? I nicknamed him Little Django." And I was like, <laughs> "What? Oh, that's so cool!" Oh my god, it was it was it was the greatest time hanging that's out. That's so with, cool with HR at NAM shows and stuff because these these heavy cats were all there. Wow, and, and, and everyone like really respected your dad. I see. I mean, they, yeah. they all. Yeah, it was really amazing for they me. They all have mutual respect. Yeah, it was great. Well, hey, I That's think we amazing. should uh, let's go ahead and jam some more. Let's let's take this this BB uh, King thing and maybe take it to the next level of of ideas. Maybe I don't know what Larry Carlton ish or Robin Ford ish, where you, they start to add a little more. Um, a little more harmonic elements that yep. can spice it up a little bit. Spice it up, and also, you know, we're we're gonna go from a five note scale, you know, a pentatonic, and we're gonna go ahead and go to a diatonics, you know, diatonic system, which has seven notes in it. So, are you gonna how are you gonna think of that? B natural minor, or what's your thought? Well, you could think B Dorian as well. Oh, you're the modal guy. So, what, be, so what do you think? We could go Dorian on the first chord. So you can a, then go so natural the, minor on this next chord. Oh, so the first chord is a, is a B minor chord, right? Yeah, so we could go yeah. B Dorian. So, I mean, so what major scale is that? Really, it's just A major. You're just going to play an A major scale over there. Okay. Gotcha. So you're going to play that over the B minor chord. Definitely sounds more jazzy. And then how about this? Hipper. Once we go to the four chord, which is an E minor. Yeah. Let's go to the E Dorian scale, which is. Oh, you're getting kind of advanced now, man. Are you turning into one of those like real heady, <laughs> like uh, okay, GIT guys it's, it's that this. like <laughs> knows all the theory and you know. <laughs> the, e the easiest way to think about it uh -huh. is it just goes E Dorian is just B natural minor. Gotcha. Because it's D major. Okay. Let's e do Dorian it. is D major, so I'm just going to play Dorian and then natural minor. Well, you want to try that? Yeah, it just shows to go, yeah. <clears throat> As they say in yeah. Hollywood. Um, that, in fact, uh, there's mo more than one way to look at playing over a blues. And uh, there's people have, uh, there's all different approaches yeah. in the language 
modally is one way. Yeah. Um, play, you know, playing uh, diatonically or pentatonically is another way. Uh, and so it's kind of fun. So I think this is yeah. going to be kind of the the intermediate version yeah. of it. And we're just going to use uh, seven note scales. Seven note scales. I'm just going to play Dorian and then natural minor. Yep. And I'm just going to play major over the whole thing. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's B minor. I'll, yeah. I'll just All play right. major. All right. Here, I'll go first here. Great sound. Great. Oh, did you go altered there? Oh, bit. you're you're going all advanced right out of the gate. What's got? Woo. Now that's a little extra jazzy. I'm just gonna go with like a, a B natural minor scale like this. Yeah. So I'm still looking at yeah, B yeah. minor, but I'm just gonna add the two notes to make it a natural minor. Yeah. Now B natural minor again. Ooh. Yeah. So nice. that's kind of uh, just pretty much B flat. Or B, uh, excuse me, B minor. Yeah. Natural minor. I'll try. Yeah. Back to your blues scale, right? it back to your uh... nice the nine hanging out on the ninth right the nine yeah see I like that nine that nine makes it a little that makes it sound nine. you know what we call it that sounds like you're a little bit more informed it's not in a <laughs> not that the other guy was ill informed he just didn't know about the ninths yet, and that's not the—it's not the tonal vocabulary of a traditional blues, really. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, you're right. So it, it, it's, it's kind of the. So now my chord, instead of just being a, a B minor chord, it's a B minor nine now. So now when I play my my, if I'm comping behind this, yeah. I'm gonna put a B minor nine because it's acceptable in this layer of the there you go yeah nice oh now you're going to the next level now that you got a little jazzy right there so what did you do there I'm playing some ultra dominant sounds ah, okay Really focusing on the major seventh note. Doesn't sound good anywhere else, pretty much, except for right at the end of the song. It's coming up. We're about to hit the round. So that note that doesn't sound so good right now. Here it comes. So the F sharp altered chord. Now it works. That note is kind of really aimed at that five chord. It doesn't happen to yeah. the end. So maybe I'm thinking pentatonic first. Maybe my Dorian. And then, I'm still staying there. Maybe natural now. Oh, we're practicing in there, but... Yeah, come for me here. That's the sound. And then resolve it. There you yeah, go. What'd sick. you land on the nine? The nine. I ended on Once the nine. Again. Made it a little jazzy. Once again, so it's it's a little it's spicier. a departure from the blues. Yeah, it's, it's a, little, a little departure. 
It's it's spicier, yeah. man, and that's what that's kind of what I, the way I look at it. Yeah. Now the next level would be to take that um, altered kind of thing, and meaning that you're kind of playing outside the key when yeah. you play altered, right? Basically, sharp five, flat nine, mm-hmm. sharp nine, you know, all that flat five. All the that cool stuff. Notes. All the cool notes. <laughs> and we're going to, or we call it the right wrong notes. The right wrong notes. That's right. <laughs> and then we're going to add those in there. And um, it's going to sound way more yeah. jazz or fusion or progressive, yeah. whatever words you want to use to sure. explain that style of playing. Um, and it's it's a kicking the ass too it's really a blast yeah so why don't don't we do a version of that okay here we go So I'm basically kind of playing out over each chord a little bit, yeah. Nice, nice five altered going to the next chord. Beautiful. Lots of chromatics, nice. Oh, diminished arm right off the gate. Wow. Wow, nice. sounds in there. That's so freaking awesome, dude. You're killing it. And you know, whoa, around the gate, a little diminished arp on the flat nine. I loved it. Whoa. <laughs> so here's the other thing. It's right about then you go, damn, can, I just need this. I know, I, right. <laughs> I need, I need, the, no, I need this one right here. This is what I need. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, yeah. You gotta bring And that's it home. why this style is so valid to me. Not that I'm an expert at it by any stretch of yeah, the imagination. It's understandable, yeah. It's just. Get back to the very basic. It's almost got more, you know, in a way it's more hard. It's less academic. Now go to level two. There you go. Put the nine in there. Right off the bat. Beautiful. Now go to level three. Yeah, I played altered over the five chord. Beautiful. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this has been a blast. This I hope you guys great, enjoy man. our backing track. Make sure you like and subscribe so you get the videos as they come out. We're planning on doing this weekly. This is yeah. awesome. Uh, yeah, we uh, we got a lot more backing tracks for you all. So don't look at my fingers and see if you can figure out how to play this. <laughs> it's in key. <laughs> That's level five, dude. All right, all awesome. right. Signing off for now. Cheers. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. <laughs>